Tracy Steen of Move Daily Fitness back in the kitchen with our Snacks and Sippers series. This is our fourth installment. If you missed some of the uh, recipes that we posted already for this month, you can take a look at the link right up here and all of those will be up there for you as well. All right, so on this last occasion for Snacks and snip Snippers, I always say that, that's a tricky one. Snacks and Sippers is going to be a wonderful little hummus to go container full of veggies. Isn't that so cute? You can take this on a picnic, uh, on a nice little snack. You can take it to work, whatever. Send it with the kids to school, which is coming up in a couple months. That is a great fun snack. And I'm gonna show you how to compile it. Super simple. So you can take a store-bought hummus if you like. I've made some hummus here. And that is really easy to make, you know. Uh, all you need is a blender, some chickpeas, lemon, tahini, salt, pepper, garlic, lost your uncle. I'm gonna post the recipe right below. So if you see that little down arrow there, you can click on that, and that's got the full recipe for you. So super simple, just take your hummus and add a couple of tablespoons to your little container. This would be great just to store in the um, refrigerator and grab and go. And you know, my theory is always, if you build it, they will come. So if this is in the refrigerator for the kids to grab, then they'll grab it if they like that sort of thing. Okay, so, and then just chop up veggies the same height as your container there. So I've got some carrots. Um, another good one in here would be some snow peas, sugar snap peas. I've got peppers, cucumber, celery, carrots. That's my combo here. That's what the family likes, so that is what they're getting. And then just shove them in there. I mean, this is such a fun little snack idea. I really like this for the picnic. I, I am totally digging that, and I will be taking this on a picnic at some point. Okay, there we go. How cute. Ah, love it. All right, and then you just lit it, and into the fridge it goes, and now you've got easy grab-and-go snacks. All right, for our summer sipper now, this is exciting. I'm going to show you a couple of picks that I have for this summer that, um, yeah, are from the can. So this is easy. You don't want to make anything, but you just need to grab something from the store before you go out uh, to your party. Well, here's a couple of options for you. First, two non-alcoholic options. I haven't tried this yet. It's a Zevia cucumber lemon water. So it's sweetened slightly with stevia. A little bit sweet, it says on the can. So that's less than your normal stevia pops. I know a lot of people don't love the Zevia because of the aftertaste from the stevia. I'm gonna try this. I have not tried it yet. I wanted to save it for this episode. So I've just got a couple of cucumbers and a tall, fun glass with a straw. All of that just makes it really fun. Okay, I'm gonna sip it and I'll give you my true opinion of what it, I think it tastes like. Okay, here I'm going in. That's really good. Yeah, I like it. It's not, it's not overly sweet. It doesn't taste like a pop. It tastes like soda water with a tiny bit of sweetener in there. I would definitely have that all summer. So that's the cucumber lemon. Yum, give that a try. Um, one that I have tried already is this La Croix, La Croix. And uh, it's basically, again, just a flavored soda. This is grapefruit, a grapefruit flavored one. I really liked it. I thought it was refreshing and delicious. And I just added some ice and put it in a fancy glass. Now, one of my clients told me about this one. This is an alcoholic beverage, 4% alcohol. It's called Social Light. And this one is a pineapple mango, although the one that she told me about was a cucumber melon or a cucumber lemon, something like that too. I would have loved to try it, but they were sold out. So, uh, your macronutrients, 80 calories, no fat, 10 milligrams of sodium, one carb, zero sugar, zero protein, of course. Um, but it's basically carbonated water, vodka, and then some pineapple juice and lime juice concentrate, natural mango flavors. Okay, I haven't tried it. I'm gonna try it right here with you. Crack it like it's hot. Okay, so here we go. Mmm, that's good. That is really good. It's got a really nice flavor. You can definitely taste the pineapple and mango flavors coming out not sweet on any level at all. Like totally just tastes like a soda, vodka soda with um, uh, fruit flavors. I like it, I would drink that, that's really good. 
refreshing. And if you're trying to lighten things up for the summer a little bit, or you just don't want to fill yourself up, up with all those sugary calories, these are some great options. This one, I'm definitely digging on. That's really good. That's perfectly sweet for me. Um, and I don't think that um, flavor of stevia is too strong in that either. Okay, that is my snacks and sippers series for this month over, and I hope you enjoyed those. Again, if you missed any of the recipes from this month, the link is right up here, and you can get all the recipes right there. All right, make sure that you uh, take a look at our website, www.movedaily.ca, for lots of programs and additional recipes, and our blog is on there as well. All right, thanks for joining in. Bye now.